Mark Heidi, we're on that very same street, just a few houses down from where that mudslide happened just earlier today. Now check out behind me. You can see mitigation efforts using sandbags to divert water that's coming off of the mountain. I spoke with a homeowner here who tells me that hillside is so saturated and wet and it's scary. Man, it, it just looks wicked up there. Kenny Wright lives about a half mile from where water is spilling off the mountain onto his friend's property. He came down to help and assess the flooding. They probably need to be really concerned about that right there because it, it could slide. This mess follows a slide from last week on the same street. John Wood is a captain with the Weber Fire District. In the past week and a half, two weeks, we've seen a lot of uh, flooding, as you can see behind me here, um, a lot of water coming down from the upper hills. Wood and others from the department have been on each scene helping. The small department is doing all they can. Doing sandbags and different various things, I think we can help divert the water. Coming off an incredible winter, Captain Wood says they expect to see more of these mountainside streams. I guess the concern is there's just more and more of them that form, right? Right, yeah. And, you know, throughout the valley, we've seen areas that have flooding that haven't flooded in numerous years. He says not knowing where the water will come down is overwhelming. Uh, not knowing or how to handle such a, an inundated problem with numerous homes involved. That's the problem. You never know where it's actually going to break because we have so much snow here. It, it, you're not going to stop this water from running. Now I want to mention that there are two locations for community members here to go pick up sandbags that are already bagged. They just need to simply pick those up. Additionally, teams do believe that they mitigated the runoff we were seeing where that mudslide happened. They urge all residents to be on high alert in this area. Reporting live in Eden, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.